Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at something super exciting. It is Long Hair Pretty Nails new poly gel, patty gel. I am super excited for her. This is such a huge accomplishment as a content creator to create your own product. So I wanted to order it and do a video to support her. So this is the Amethyst collection and in it you get three poly gels. I decided to do the swatches in these little gemstone molds because I thought that would be so cute. See what I did there? <laughs> the other shades are Sweet Life and Amethyst. I also ordered the brush that goes along with this collection. It's been a good while since we've tested out some poly gel, so let's get into it. So I felt like today we should go back to basics a little bit and use some dual forms. Now I believe I got these dual forms from AliExpress, but they have a pretty high apex. And they are a little bit too skinny for my nails, but we're just gonna make it work. It's been quite a while since I've used any dual forms. I feel like for a long time, both me and Long Hair Pretty Nails were testing a lot of kits with a lot of dual forms, sort of doing similar stuff, of course. And I don't know, I just wanna do some dual forms, but these ones look really, really nice. And I'm just measuring these out a little bit. Something I've learned while doing dual forms is that you want the dual forms to be a little bit bigger than your nail. You don't want them to fit perfectly. You want them to be a little bit bigger in my opinion anyway. I did just take off a set so they're not looking great. I'm just going to manually push back my cuticles a little bit and scrape away a little bit of that dead skin. You can also use a cuticle remover or you know something to soften your cuticles if you want. And then I'm just going to take off a little bit of that, you know, like dead skin and cuticle that's left on there. Then I'm gonna take some alcohol on a lint-free wipe. It's gonna look crusty, especially this magnified regardless. And we want them to be dry so that the product sticks. Next, you're going to want to lightly rough up the surface of your nail. I'm not going to do this a ton because mine are already pretty roughed up, but if you are starting with a, let's say like virgin nail, you're gonna definitely want to do that. You can use a file or you can use a block like this. This is a 80-100 grit buffing block, and this is meant to prep your natural nails. I feel like a buffing block because it's more flexible, is just more comfortable to prep with than a actual file. I feel like a file is a lot more harsh. I do have some leftover gel on my nail, by the way, let's ignore. I wouldn't really use anything above like a 120 to prep your nail, otherwise it's gonna make it smooth and that's going to make product not stick to it. I'll also clean up the edge while I'm at it. Next, I'm gonna go in with a dehydrator. I'm gonna just use this one from Model Ones, but you can also use rubbing alcohol. And do that over your whole nail. Next, I'm gonna go in with a primer. I'm gonna use this Protein Bond from Young Nails. You're gonna wanna be a little bit more careful not to get a primer on your skin. For my base, I'm going to use this pink base from Apray, and then just a thin coat of your base. Make sure to not flood your cuticle or get any on your skin. If you do, you wanna make sure you wipe that off wherever it's not supposed to be very thoroughly. Otherwise, it won't create a tight seal for your nails to last. Kinda like that then you'll want to cure it. Now my nails are all ready for some poly gel. Having such a hard time deciding what I want to use, they're all so pretty. We will start with amethyst. So I am going to just like bend out the bottom a little bit to just make it a little bit more wider for my nails. And I'm going to use this form as like a base. If I need to add more on top, I totally can. Looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay, let's see how it actually works. I'm just using some rubbing alcohol in my brush. I believe I have 91%, but it's honestly probably more now that a ton of the water has evaporated because I can't find the cap. <laughs> and I'm having a fairly easy time just spreading it. I'm going to add a little bit more since I am going to do these their full length. So overall, it's spreading super easily and not sticky, which is really nice. All right, let's put it on. I need to smush it down a little bit. I'm going to use a clip today. I'm gonna try to sneak down there a little bit to try to smooth out the back a little bit. And let's cure. Okay, I'm excited. So I did press it down pretty hard on my actual nail just because I wanted to make sure that the sidewalls would be covered. So I may have to add more poly gel here, but again, that's fine. It's my favorite part, I miss doing this. Yay! Wow, it looks nice. Really strong too. Definitely have to put some poly gel down there, but look at how good. Starting out with dual forms can make it so you have to do minimal filing. If you have more curved nail beds, I bet you these ones would be perfect for you. you. Probably wouldn't have to file at all, almost at all, you know. Just do another small little bit. Honestly, super, super easy to work with so far. And I'm not really having to dip my brush back in the alcohol very many times. It's just not sticky. So 
So there we go, a little bit more added. I'm gonna cure it and we'll do just a couple small designs with the poly gel. For this nail, I wanna do a little bit of a swirl of all three. So I'm going to put a little bit out on a palette of each one. I think that Sweet Life is probably my favorite. It's just so pretty. Just gonna give this a little bit of a swirl before I grab it off. Okay, just kidding. That might've been a little bit too much initially. So here's how that looks, kind of just a little mix. Right after you pull it off, I would recommend wiping with alcohol underneath especially, just to prevent any stickiness while you're working. For the last nail, I'm going to do an ombre using the pinky color. If you're familiar with poly gel, then you probably have come into contact with poly gel that's sort of like stringy or sticky. Like you'll touch it and it'll kind of just like keep going. I haven't had that problem with this one at all. It's really, really nice to work with. She did a really good job on this formula. I'm gonna just sort of feather this down as much as I can. Then I'm gonna use Sweet Life. Now this one has super chunky flakes in it. So that does have to be clear capped if you're putting it on normally. I'm hoping I don't have to do much filing up here, more just my normal filing down towards the cuticle. Last one to put on. Hopefully that'll be a nice little ombre. Here we are with that. I'm gonna put some clear on top and then we will file. We'll get to filing now. A lot of work around the cuticle, but thankfully the shape is pretty much there and then it's pretty smooth down at the bottom. Everything is all filed now. The trust the process is commencing. Now we're gonna do some stickers and rhinestones. Aren't these stickers so cute? I feel like they're gonna stick out a little bit though cause they're like pretty thick. I got these from AliExpress a while ago. If I can find them, I will do my best to link them but sometimes those pages disappear. I'm gonna try to get away with not putting a top coat on for these, but I don't know. This nail will be getting some rhinestones, so I'm not gonna do too much to it. I think they're meant to be like textured. Gotta pick out the planet that matches best. I've grabbed out some rhinestones as well as some other ones. These ones are from Long Hair Pretty Nails. She also has rhinestones. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the rhinestone placement, but I know that I need to put these in here. I also have this, which I was thinking about using today, which we might as well, let's just, Let's just unbox it. I'm gonna use Kira Sky Bling It Gel today. This stuff is thick. I love these butterfly rhinestones. They're so cute and I think they go so well. I'm trying to find the flattest part of my nail so it doesn't stick out too much. I think I'm gonna open these old Swarovskis that I have, even though they're too good for nail artists nowadays. I already had these from a while ago. There's gonna be the rhinestones, just a little, you know. I'm gonna cure this now though. This is too big. No. I really want it to not be too big. You know what, no, we're gonna roll with it. Now we're on to top coat. I'm just gonna use a no wipe top coat. I do not feel like dealing with any stickiness today. 
So they did end up looking kind of busy, but I like them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, congratulations to Long Hair Pretty Nails for this launch. I really liked it. She did a really great job with the formula. You can tell she worked really hard on it. Let me know what you guys think of these nails. And thank you once again so much for watching. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.